Hello Universe, this is Gypsy. <clears throat> this is my nail polish inventory video. I have 69 currently. I have tried to divide these into um, light colors, to glitters, to I believe reds. These are more in the maroons. These are silvers. These are just what I would call unusual colors. These are gels. I only have four. I haven't gotten into gelling yet. And these are clears. Um, I can only recommend, as from usage, this one product that I would consistently rebuy. I'm waiting for the camera to focus. It might not focus. Um, it's Beauty Secrets Nail Hardener in High Gloss from Sally's. And it will prolong my enamel um, manicures. I have not, as I said, gotten into gel yet. These other four are also like base coat, top coat, and I have found that with this product, I don't have to do that. This is actually a matte, Elf, Elf brand matte um, clear polish. I didn't even know they made mattes. Um, these are also Elf. There's, I bought a multi-pack and I'm not wild about Elf polish. A lot of these simply came from the Dollar Tree. These two to me look a lot alike but they're actually slightly different. Um, and I'm thinking that with some of these unusual colors and some of these smaller container, containers, what I'll do is um, try to pan these. I think that they might move quickly. Um, these, I, I try to hack on. If they were the type that required multiple coats to get any color payoff, there's a hack. They say that you can mix eyeshadow into them to darken them and I've tried it just on a piece of paper to see and it, it seems to be darkening. This is brand new. This is a color match for that one actually. This is Elf but that one's brand new. I picked it up at the Dollar Tree. This one needs to be shaking a lot better. I can't really see the colors but I think it's safe to say that I'm on a no buy. I do love these dark maroon colors. I've tried to have a yard sale. I've gotten rid of a lot of my polishes just having a yard sale. This one needs to go in a different category. It's a different, it's not the reds. I'm going to actually save this little inventory video on my phone. And when I have the urge to impulse buy, maybe this will help me not buy it. This is also another polish that I got in um, a subscription, the Ricky's Cult, Cult subscription. This is a good polish that doesn't chip, and I didn't even have the, the, the topper that I was telling you about, that clear topper, that Sally's topper on it, um, and it didn't chip. These are glitters. I do not have the skill yet to do good glitters. I'm going to probably use these in pedicures and try and pan them on out because I'm not going to wear glitter polishes. It's just not me. I do like these light colored polishes with the exception of the yellow and I'm in the process of mixing that one and it is starting to darken. It was a very, it was much brighter and I can still see some of the eyeshadow that I've dumped in there on the top. I need a little bit more room in there to get good mix going. It's not that I don't like these light colors and I'll often wear them in spring and summer. It's just that you, it requires multiple coats to get any kind of color payoff. This I use when I want to do a French manicure, the white. So that is my current inventory. When I see that I've made some progress on reducing my numbers and using these, maybe I'll do another inventory update. But for right now, this is how much I'm starting with as far as panning. 
turn from a different angle. Like I said, I want to keep this on my phone. I'm, I'm going to share it on YouTube. Um, it's not in a panning project. Maybe I need to look for that panning project and see if I can make some progress. But thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.